Uh, so the first one is from JVC. So what model are we talking That's about That's the JVC HM17OU. And the retail price? It's about twelve ninety five. So that's about the entry level for a 4K camera with an uh, adequate HDMI output. And then we have this camera from Sony. Which one is that, Amber? The Z100. The Z100 and the retail price is? Uh, $38.95. $38.95. Obviously, it depends on where you purchase it from. Um, that's a slightly better sensor, better camera, uh, also HDMI. Now, the other option, obviously, and we'll talk about why it's different, is, for example, this camera, this popular uh, Canon uh, C500 uh, with a great lens, is actually as SDI. So the Studio HD 550 supports both HDMI and SDI. But when it comes to HDI, there's a few things you need to know. So in HDMI, it's very simple. You can have affordable cameras, slightly more expensive, but you're limited in cable length uh, to about 10 meters or 30 feet. The advantage is it's a single cable and you just plug it in one of the five uh, input. SDI has many, many advantages. It's not designed for consumer, it's designed for professional video. The key advantage is that you can get up to 300 meters in cable length for about 1,000 feet. Uh, so if you're doing sport, if you're doing large venues, you need SDI. Uh, the, the SDI cameras are more expensive and when it comes to 4K, there's uh, even more complexities. So these cameras, for example, you can see, um, if we can see there, uh, we have, um, actually, I can use uh, yeah, let's Mevo. Mevo. So if you know live stream, uh, you obviously know Mevo, if we can switch to it. Um, and today we actually are using Mevo wirelessly with an Apple router uh, in 720p30 uh, to basically do our close-up of the inputs. Um, so get Mevo.com if you're interested and you know Mevo doesn't replace every camera we use in this show traditional cameras as well uh, But it's great to add for example a portable camera or if you're 399 at 399 or if you can't afford a whole Workflow with a team like we have uh, here today <laughs> uh, You might want if we can switch to the Mevo you might want to um, To basically use uh, one or two Mevos or just a Mevo with an iPhone so back to obviously our 4k demo today Thanks for the Mevo segue, <laughs> Amber. Uh, you'll see that this camera is 3G SDI and has two output. And then if we look at the new Livestream Studio 4K, you, you'll see that each input has only one SDI cable. And the SDI cable are these uh, connector, that's the HDMI. Now the reason is that we are having a 6G SDI input She's capable of taking 4K at 30 FPS. You can switch back to the uh, traditional camera. Um, and um, this camera is only doing 3G, as we saw. So you need to go from two cable to one. And for this, we recommend uh, converters. There's many available. Uh, but since our cards are from Blackmagic Design, we recommend these converters. So let's look at a slide. So they're the Terranex converter. They allow you to go from HDMI to SDI and so on. But one of the things is that if you buy an SDI camera, you know, think about the output and you need to get a converter which retails for about... Uh, uh, 470. 470, again, different price based on which Blackmagic reseller you pick it from. Uh, but you need to, to basically get a converter to turn it into 6G SDI. And one of the other advantage of that is you can have a single cable running back to Livestream Studio. So typically you'd put the converter in the SDI camera and you'd cable a single 6G SDI um, back to the side of the 550 or the 51, uh, which use also Blackmagic cards. So Blackmagic converters are great with Blackmagic cards, they're more likely to work and be very stable. So to summarize, you know, on the camera, affordable 4K camera from $1,200 with HDMI. HDMI, a lot easier to interface, but if you need to put it at the back of the venue and so on, you might want to invest in SDI. If you do, don't forget the converter, don't forget the cables. And, uh, you know, one last word is that if you plan to use the cropping feature and the zoom in, you know, not all 4K cameras are equal. Uh, the higher the budget, the bigger the sensor, the bigger the lens, the better the lights, you know, ultimately is going to give you a sharper, less noisy picture once you zoom in. Um, and so it all depends on budget and it's variable. Uh, so today we'll see actually the zoom in demo with two, um, you know, prosumer grade uh, cameras. And you'll see it's not perfect uh, in terms of grain and noise. Uh, it's actually not bad. I think uh, a lot of producers would use them for this purpose. Uh, but obviously, there's a lot more you can do if you're willing to invest in bigger, uh, uh, more expensive 
uh, larger sensor SDI cameras.